everyone. After dealing with the nose, lips, eyes, obviously it is time to talk about the do's and don'ts of painting realistic ears. As I am starting off, uh, I'm again starting off with the don'ts part of the painting. Now, before I get started with what you're not supposed to do, I wanted to mention something that I have noticed that there is a lot of tutorials for eyes, lips, that is the mouth, uh, ear, um, the nose, hair, skin tone, and everything about portrait basics, but, but there is very lit very few actual tutorials of how to paint an ear or what not to do when painting an ear and that is probably because in most of the portraits ear is not a very significant part in fact in most paintings you most of the times you don't even get to see the ear say for example in the front view um, you only see kind of a fraction of an ear and if the person has long hair then maybe nothing at all even in the profile view you get to see mostly a part of the hairs a part of the ear rather mostly because hair either partly or completely covers the ear so that is probably why not a lot of people pay attention to it however uh, an important thing to note once again it is not it does not need to have outlines like anything else in about realistic portrait painting outlines are not at all something that you want to go for when you are painting in with realism uh, painting realism and especially in case of portraits so no outlines required like I have shown in the don'ts uh, part of the year uh, which is below and uh, those outlines will not work and once again one solid color doesn't really work so you have to kind of look at the year, look at your reference uh, image or photo or model and go by the lights and darks that you can see. Now going on to how to paint an year. Painting an ear is pretty much like painting anything else uh, in a portrait, whether it is ear, nose, mouth, uh, what hair, whatever. Uh, you paint what you see. And when I say that you paint what you see is that different lights and a different uh, direction of the light and how uh, the light is reflecting off the surface of the ear will actually determine uh, how the painting or of the ear will look like. Uh, like in this case, uh, the li light is probably coming straight from the front or behind and you don't get a lot of highlights on it. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm following the reference image that I am looking into when painting. So obviously a good drawing is required to start off with. And then again, you have to pay very close attention to your reference photo. Now, like any other parts of the face or body, ear has a lot of crevices a lot of high points and low points and obviously the high points will reflect of more light and will have the highlights and the low points or the crevices or the indentations will be where the darker shadows will be and again around the ear always will be the hair and when you're thinking of hair you have to think in terms of clumps and cluster and not single strands so that is one other important thing to remember and as for the shape of the ear I kind of like to think of it like an eight of uh, the outer edge of the ear is like an eight and the inside is like an s so s inside an eight is what I think of when I think of an ear as you can see, I'm adding some highlights and where my highlights are going in this case is and in any portrait case will be strongly determined by my reference image. Because of a different lighting, the same year will have different reflections. Obviously, the higher areas will still be lighter and the crevices will still be darker. So that will not change. But how much highlight, how much light or dark, that will obviously change uh, because of the lighting. So that is all I want to share about do's and don'ts of realistic ear painting. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you like the video, Give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe.